argument of a complex number has many values we find a value of argument z and then generalize it but there is exactly one value that belongs to the interval minus pi to pi which is called principal argument z hi i am arun prashish in this video we are going to describe properties of argument considering all the aspects of the argument argument of product of complex numbers argument of z1 z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 but since argument is a multivalued function therefore the general case is argument of z1 z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k can be an integer now for principal argument of z we have argument of z1 z2 equals to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0 1 or minus 1 exactly one of these but not all as principal argument is a single valued function same is the case for argument of division of complex number argument of z1 upon z2 is equal to argument of z1 minus argument z2 and the general case is argument of z1 upon z2 equals to argument of z1 minus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k can be any integer and principal argument of z1 upon z2 is equal to principal argument of z1 minus principal argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k is equal to 1 of these 0 1 or minus 1 next is argument of power of complex numbers argument of z raised per n is equal to n times argument z for any integer n and the general case is argument of z raised per n is equal to n times argument of z plus 2k pi where k can be an integer and for principal argument of z raised per n it is equal to n times argument of z plus 2k pi where k is exactly one of the integers next is argument of conjugate of complex number for a non-real complex number z argument of z conjugate is equal to minus argument of z for argument of z conjugate plus argument of z is equal to argument of z conjugate into z using the property of the product of argument of complex numbers which is equal to argument of mod z square since z z conjugate is equal to mod z square and mod z square is a positive real number therefore its argument is zero therefore we get argument of z conjugate is equal to minus argument of z so the general case is argument of z conjugate is equal to minus argument z plus 2k pi where k can be an integer principal argument of z conjugate is equal to minus argument of z argument of reciprocal of a complex number for a non real complex number z argument of 1 upon z is equal to minus argument of z and the generalized case is argument of 1 upon z equals to minus argument of z plus 2k pi where k can be any integer and for principal argument principal argument of 1 upon z is equal to minus of principal argument z now let's apply these results in solving some problems now to find principal argument of product of two complex numbers let z1 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 iota its modulus is r equals to 2 root 2 and using cos theta is equal to x upon r and sin theta is equal to y upon r we get cos theta is equal to minus 1 upon root 2 and sin theta equals to 1 upon root 2 this means theta lies in second quadrant therefore theta is equal to 3 pi by 4 so argument of z1 is 3 pi by 4 which is also its principal argument since it lies in minus pi to pi integral. Similarly, 
let z2 is equal to minus root 3 minus theta find its r and the argument we get theta is equal to pi plus pi by 3 as both cos and sine are negative therefore theta lies in third quadrant means argument of z2 is 4 pi by 3 but its value is greater than pi so to find principal argument z we subtract 2 pi so principal argument of z is 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi that is minus 2 pi by 3 now using property of argument of product of two complex numbers we get argument of z1 z2 equals to argument of z1 that is 3 pi by 4 plus argument of z2 which is minus 2 pi by 3 plus 2 k pi which is equal to pi by 12 plus 2 k pi as pi by 12 is in the interval minus pi to pi therefore its principal argument is pi by 12 now to find principal argument of division of two complex numbers we use the property of division of complex numbers here argument of z1 equals to 3 pi by 4 where z1 is iota minus 1 and argument of z2 is minus pi by 3 where z2 is cos pi by 3 minus iota sin pi by 3 therefore argument of z1 upon z2 is 3 pi by 4 minus minus pi by 3 plus 2 k pi which is 13 pi by 12 plus 2 k pi 13 pi by 12 is not in the interval minus pi to pi so we subtract 2 pi to get the principal argument which is minus 11 pi by 12 in the first problem argument of z is less than 0 that means z cannot be equal to 0 now argument of minus z minus argument of z is equal to argument of minus z upon z using properties of argument this is equal to argument of minus 1 which is equal to pi in this question we are given two equations from the first one z conjugate plus iota omega conjugate equals to 0 you can write z conjugate equals to minus iota omega conjugate which implies z equals to iota omega by taking conjugate on both sides this implies argument of z equals to argument of iota omega which in turn is equal to argument of iota plus argument of omega now argument of iota is pi by 2 so we get pi by 2 plus argument of omega now using second equation argument of z omega is equal to pi we get argument of z plus argument of omega equals to pi from here we get argument of omega equals to pi minus argument of z now we substitute the value of argument omega in this relation we get argument of z equals to pi by 2 plus pi minus argument of z this implies 2 times argument of z equals to 3 pi by 2 so we get argument of z equals to 3 pi by 4 which is also the principal argument z 
as it lies in minus pi to pi interval. In the next problem, we are given z1 and z2 are conjugate pairs. So we have z2 equals to z1 conjugate. Similarly, z4 and z3 are conjugate pairs. So z4 is equal to z3 conjugate. Now, argument of z1 upon z3 plus argument of z2 upon z4 equals to argument of z1 upon z3 into z2 upon z4 using properties of arguments so this equals to argument of z1 z2 upon z3 z4 which is equal to argument of z1 z1 conjugate upon z3 z3 conjugate using z4 is equal to z3 conjugate and z2 is equal to z1 conjugate now this equals to argument of mod z1 square upon mod z3 square which is a positive real number so argument of a positive real number is 0